Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be going through uh, some plants that have been hit with mealybugs. So these have gone into a full-blown infestation. So yeah, I've been treating them and I just wanted to show you guys how they're looking like and what I did to treat them. And honestly, it's still an ongoing battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And yeah, let's just jump right into today's video. I'm not sure if uh, they all had root mealies or if it's just mealybugs. So um, what I know about mealybugs is that you really don't see them until they're like a full-on adult. So the eggs and the babies are very hard to spot and even the adults, they like to hide. So they go into like little nooks and crannies and little crevices. So they really only show when you have so, so many mealybugs. So that's the problem I'm having now and I'm really upset about it. So first off, I'll show you guys is my Philodendron Splendid. And this is my Varicosum and Melanochrysum cross. So this little baby sadly has been hit with mealybugs. I just sprayed it down with some Safer's End All, which is this spray. Um, this I just bought it at like Home Depot or Amazon. I can't really remember. You can even get these at like your local nurseries. They usually have it in terms of treating pests and they work for lots of things. So mealybugs, spider mites, and thrips, which is what I usually use this for. Um, so I essentially just doused it. So I sprayed it all over the foliage, all over the petioles, freaking everything. <laughs> the only thing I didn't do is treat the roots. I didn't really want to like pour it into the leka so i mainly just sprayed the top foliage and hoped for the best i do have quite a few like dead mealies that um i haven't wiped off yet some on the stem and some on the petioles it's a little hard to see but they are dead because i've sprayed it really really thoroughly yesterday um but you know they always hide in very various spots very big problem trying to deal with mealybugs honestly it's the worst but hopefully this one pulls through i mean i don't really see any like damage for the most part so this one wasn't hit too bad but i'll show you some of my other ones which um not as hot for sure but first more happy news i have this little hoya which is the hoya crassipitola something like that it used to be the hoya uh, da Nang, Vietnam, but look at that. It's in bloom. I'm so so shocked I was away on vacation for about a week five days to a week and I came back to this beautiful bloom So I had to show it on camera show you guys how beautiful it is before it I don't know blasts and like dies on me, but just look how cute. It doesn't have any fragrance at all like zero which I'm a little bit surprised by because my matilde blooms were so so smelly and like just nauseating <laughs> but this one doesn't smell like anything so i get the beautiful show and i don't get disgusted so the best of both worlds and yeah i have this paired up with a beautiful piggy planter so this little baby is handmade and it's available on my etsy shop at glorious plants and pots so go check it out if you're interested i have a bunch of new pots i want to show you guys today so i just paired it up with some of the sad plants that i will be showing you but yeah this one definitely a keeper i really like this one i made quite a lot of piggy ones so there's still some available on my shop but yeah, this one, despite it being literally infested with mealybugs, it managed to bloom. I don't even know how, um, but there's still quite a lot of like dead mealies all over the plant. And um, it's it takes so much work to really like go through each piece and like wipe it with a cotton swab. I used to use a cotton swab with alcohol and I found that just way too tedious and it took way too long. So um, I started dousing it with uh, Safer Zendal. So hopefully that works a little bit better. And the only thing is you do see a bunch of like dead bugs there so they don't get wiped off. For now, I'm probably just gonna leave it and hopefully they are dead and not alive. But mealybugs are honestly the worst. This plant managed to not be held back at all by the mealybug infestation, so very shocked. But it will be a good um, comparison to the next plant, which is uh, sad. So this one I think had root mealies, and it got completely destroyed. So I had to cut it up into a billion different pieces, and now 
And this is how my elliptica looks like. So just a bunch of cuttings. And even so, I'm uh, currently propagating it in water and uh, plenty of them don't make it. So as you can see, this leaf just fell right off of the cup of water. Um, I have another one, dead, dead leaves. All right, uh, this one clearly didn't want to make it either. So that's another sad piece. Um, out of these, I think, uh, oh, this piece is actually rooted. Look at that. So um, this has survived. I actually still see a freaking melee on here. That is very upsetting. <laughs> I swear I like scrubbed it. Look, that is a good indication of this stupid, ugly mealy bug. But yeah, um, this one can actually get planted back into Lekka after I uh, kill that mealy bug. I will probably just squish it. Let me just squish it. <laughs> that was a quick death. Okay, so that piece is doing well. So that goes back into the water. See, I'm so sad. Like, my elliptica used to be so big and then I probably neglected it and just didn't notice how badly infested it was with the mealybugs. And now this is what I'm left with. I mean, a bunch of random pieces. So they essentially are cuttings right now and I'm just trying to root them. Hopefully I get a somewhat medium sized plant after. These all root and um, can just regrow it, I guess. It is a really fast grower, the elliptica. So I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, it's very sad. Whew, I'm sweating. Oh, I seem to have knocked over my poor viola and like broke off the tip. So it um, is oozing the white Hoya fluid. Yeah, so it broke off the tip, I guess. Wasn't meant to be, whatever. Anyway, so this is the Hoya viola. Viola, viola, doesn't matter. And um, yeah, I just also treated this for mealybugs. And I found so many mealybugs on the new leaves, which my other plants weren't growing as many new leaves. I mean, the Crassipitola, that one bloomed. So it wasn't pushing out new leaves. So the mealies don't really go to the blooms. They go mainly to new leaves, uh, which I could definitely tell on the viola. My Splendid, it was just kind of crawling all over the petioles and the leaves, but not really new leaves because it wasn't really growing. But this one, oh my lord, because it has these two new leaves up here, it was just all over the new leaves and it was um, really disgusting, honestly. So yeah, I definitely treated this. Uh, hopefully it's all gone because it was very disturbing. And I have this paired up with this beautiful fat cat planter and it's so cute. I love the blue glaze on this. It has a really nice like kind of flowy movement to it. I really like it. And I think it pairs so nicely with this Hoya. What do you guys think? This Hoya Viola, despite it being Hit with mealybugs is still one of my favorites and I hope that it will pull through because um, yeah I would be really devastated if I lost this Hoya. A lot of my Hoyas got hit with mealybugs so I'll show you guys the next two which this one is the Hoya Australis Lisa and it has so many leaves. I hate it when my big plants get hit with mealybugs because they really do like to hide in the nooks and crannies and it's just very hard to treat. You literally have to treat it all over. So this one, once again, was uh, really infested and I had to douse it with the Safer Zendal and I see a lot of dead melees. But for the most part, I think it looks really healthy. I've treated it like two, three times now and it still keeps coming back. They come out of nowhere, I don't know. But I have this one paired up with the Bear Planter. So stinking cute, oh my God, I like can't even get over it. It looks like the cutest freaking bear you've ever seen. I love the, the clay look to it and also how it's hand carved like all my other pieces but this bear is just so freaking adorable. Comment down below if you love this bear planter. I would love to know. But yeah this is the Hoya Australis Lisa. Uh, moving on to the last plant. This plant honestly hasn't done much for a very long time and um, doesn't seem to be bothered by the mealybugs. So whatever this is the hoya pachiclata with its beautiful thick succulent fuzzy leaves so i really like this hoya and um i don't know why but it grows a lot of area roots into the air despite it not really having like high humidity so there's a bunch of area roots there there's a bunch over here they kind of look like legs like spider legs they they freak me out a little bit I'm not gonna lie but um if i ignore these area roots 
and just focus on the foliage. I think it's really cute. And um, this one is quite hardy. It is a fighter. It doesn't get hit too badly with mealybugs and it doesn't like succumb to the mealybugs like how my poor elliptica is. <laughs> so I find like my thicker leaf toyas, um, they kind of make it through this infestation and hopefully this one makes it. And hopefully this one doesn't die. So yeah, this one I have it paired up with the Happy Mad Dual Face Planter. So we have Happy on this side and then we have the Angry Face on the other side. And I just have like a white trim of glaze at the top. I thought it gave it a little bit more character. And just so the outside is not completely unglazed, I have a little bit at the top and just thought it was really cute. So yeah, check it out. It's available on my Etsy shop as well. So that pretty much concludes today's video. I had so many that were hit with mealybugs that I don't know what to do. <laughs> Mealies come out of nowhere. They come out of hibernation and they just attack all my plants. So hopefully I can get rid of them all. I'll probably treat it again with the Safer's End All before they go back into my collection and um, maybe just give it a little bit more space so it doesn't touch because mealybugs don't fly. So they really have to crawl slowly over to the next plant. So yeah, I hope you guys don't have the same problem as I do. But if you do, we're in this together, fighting the mealybug infestation. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful or entertaining one way or another. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any plants that have mealybugs or even like thrips or spider mites or any other infestation. I'd love to know. So we can, uh, you know, misery likes company. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.